The Peslocus assessinus measures three meters in length. Its head makes up two thirds the length of its body. The other third includes its eight legs, two blade-like fins, and a poisonous sting in its tail. The Peslocus assessinus has eight eyes in total. And people look at me the whole time, like, a, like a, I'm, I'm, I'm praying to something. Its huge jaw opens 180 degrees to reveal 144 razor sharp teeth. They, they are wrong. They, 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 they don't know, they're just ignorant. <sighs> Attacks on humans are rare, but some cases have been reported. The last known attack was on the Van Puchtenstein family, who were sailing on the river on a quiet Sunday afternoon. A Pez Locus Assessinus jumped into the boat and devoured the entire family. The only survivor was the young son, Leonard, who was left orphaned and traumatised. He has become obsessed with catching the beast to avenge the death of his family. See, this is with our metro stop. The Batumouche came under the bridge, stopped around here, and that's when it stroked my family. Exactly here. I'll show you. Uh, I need to know. I, I would like to have a wife uh, someday. I don't know. I'm not really good at uh, socializing, so. For the moment, me and women are, it's a bit hard. Those are all pictures I've collected uh, around the years. And they all report uh, deaths of people from, from people who were on the sand. This group here, this American tourist, uh, this American family came to France. Um, they visited the um, Notre Dame and then they went for for the river and uh, had a had a nice picnic there. But the thing is, they disappeared right after they they sat down. So for, for me, I think I think the monster just ate them all. Right just when they were sitting there, he just yeah. jumped out. He can do that, the fish. Yeah, obviously the fish has legs. There, there's there's no coincidences. And the man with the circle. Face? Who, what is he about? Who is he? Yes, okay. What happened to him? <clears throat> he survived. He, he came back. He had like the right part of his chest bitten off, and they said, "Yeah, the guy fell from uh, from the boat and fell against a rock." But <laughs> there are no rocks in the river. Let's be, <laughs> this is ridiculous, guys. I mean, we all know there 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 there's something wicked about this river. Here we have like uh, this film production crew, and um, they were making this documentary about uh, the pollution of the of the river. I mean, she survived as well. She, is, she, like she's she's circled, but she's crossed too. I mean, mm -hmm. she she had survived, but she couldn't she, she couldn't live up with with all she's been through in that accident. So she she committed suicide mm. a few months later. That's that's my family. That's your family. That was fifteen years ago. I was five. Mm. Right there. That's my father. And um, he died. I miss him. <laughs> so, 
Sorry. You want to see more pictures, maybe? That, that's, that's me and my sisters. You look very happy. I was at a time. I still had a innocent uh, life. Now I'm, I have only one thing to think of, and it's getting revenge. Good luck. Sometimes it's bad luck. I was trying to warn them. They're gonna die one day. I told you. What did they say to you? They said get away. They said like no no stop your bullshit. You come here every week and everything. Every week, of course, yeah, because anytime they, I mean, it's not because it's the mating season now that I warn them. I warn them all the time because someday something bad's gonna happen. It happened near here, right? It happened there. Right there. This is, we, we've seen so far your, your weekly routine, you know, uh, what you do once a week, but what do you do on, your, on a daily basis? What's the life? I am. Um, I'm fighting against our enemy. On a daily basis, not just once a week, every day. Every day. Well, it's more uh, self-defense what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to the, um, the pet shop and I buy rats every day. Not for a pet. You have a pet snake, maybe? Nope. I, I'll show you. <clears throat> well, sounds a bit... Uh, Shut up! Sounds a bit big. You have two in there, or what? No, just one. Just one? It's enough. How, how big are these rats you're dealing with? Mm. Small rat. So what are, you, what are you doing in here with the rats? In the bathroom? The monster climbs up every every day tries to climb up my plumbing. Yours in particular or? Mine on, on only, because he knows me. And what's the purpose of feeding, uh, flushing this rat down the toilet? What does this do for him or her? He gets some daily food. I know it's not it's against my principles, but I mean if I don't do that, someday he's gonna get me. And I wanna get him first. I have a strong faith in what Charles Darwin has to say. In my opinion he he has many, many, uh, what he says is very coherent. What Has he ever mentioned this beast that you talk about, or? Um, not specifically, but um, in all his theories about evolution, uh, there have been, uh, through flaws, um, missing animals, uh, the evolution must have um, developed some animals into monsters, which we still don't know about. There's some monsters that still uh, have to be uh, discovered. And, and do you believe if Darwin was here today, he would help you try and hunt this beast down, side by side? I think so, yes, absolutely. He would be my best friend, actually. My daddy, my daddy always told me to recycle.
have a party of some sort. What do you mean? I mean, no, nothing. That's, that's what I drink daily. They were on the boat just like me and I was doing my stuff. And then I heard my sister, Carolina, scream. <laughs> Sorry. Why was she screaming? Lenny, Lenny. And you ran to find her. That's what I did. And when I, when it came to their seats, they were nowhere to be found. Where was your sister? My sister. They were all gone. They were all gone. They were all <laughs> in the water there. There, there was this ribbon floating. Spinning her out. It was a Carolina's ribbon. It was Carolina's ribbon. <laughs> and this is the reason that every week you go off to the same spot in the sun. This is the reason. We see there's a lot of paint and painting material around this house. So. Mm -hmm. Yep. I like to paint. It's a self portrait because that's me on the picture. Red. Like Red is anger. Black is sadness. And everywhere around me it's only blood. Blood, blood, blood. And I, I, I contain my anger in my heart. This one, uh, this one is... Um, it's it's another self portrait. It's not it's not really self portrait. Um, well, uh, that's me in the picture right, basically, and I'm watching this square sun. It's not, it's not a kite. It's up to the spectator to to judge, but for me, that's a square sun. Um, also, the sun is casting a shadow here on this tree. Everything is full of blood and I, I've had a very gory past. I've been looking at all the injuries that have been caused on the on the victims and it appears that very often the fin the fin is very important. The fin is always cut through many many bodies. Do you think it would be possible for you to, to do a quick sketch of the fit the beast in your mind? Yeah sure of course I, I have it all in my mind. The beast. Two thirds of the body is the mouth. The tail takes up the last third. It has a giant fin which cuts through bodies. Eight eyes and eight legs. The teeth, which are like thousands of nails. And let's not forget the, the tongue, which is split into two. That's our monster. So how can you be so sure about this? Research. Also, in my dreams, I have visions. One day I'll... Because the day is gonna be soon. One day I'm gonna kill him. The fish, the monster. By the dorsal fin, grab my knife, stick it up his ass, and then I pull up and open his rib cage. From his stomach, I excavate all the organs one by one. He's got about 20 of them. How many of each would you say? Is every organ a human does, or even extra? He has 10, 10 stomachs to process all the food. I mean, he has one stomach for metal, one stomach for wood, one stomach for plastic. He has one for each. Mm -hmm. And, but you say that the fastest way to enter this beast is through the ass. Absolutely, through, yeah. Through the anus. Really through the anus. You stick up his, this knife, stick it up his anus. Mm -hmm. 
just open it up. To rip, rip it open. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And then what? And then and then um, I have learned some ancient uh, African tales here from one of those books. That there's this liquid, the Kusta Halek in the Medjitu. too. And what you do, you uh, it is it is a, a sacred liquid. Mm -hmm. And they say that if you drink it, you can live a hundred years. Yeah. So. And you have to drink it just like that, or how do you drink it? How would you say? Yeah, you have to drink it uh, raw. So basically, what I do when I, after I finished uh, excavating all the organs, only then there's this uh, fluid which, which will come out. Come out. Mm -hmm. So I lie underneath the monster. I open my mouth, and the liquid slip in my mouth. Do you have to drink it fresh in the body, or do you put it in a cup, or how does it work? Just straight from the body. Straight from the body, yeah. I don't think I had chardo. I had something that merely looked like it. But this monster took it from me.